Hello everybody and welcome back to uh, Castle Flipper where I am running out of money quite considerably actually at the moment uh, with building this gigantic castle that I am building and it, it looks very very impressive actually at this point. I'm actually really enjoying this. Um, I, I do want to build myself. I don't know what I want to do about it because you can definitely get like an indoor setting if you put enough of those blocks together. Um, although there's a bit, little bit of a, a gap sometimes, look, some of the areas. Actually, it looks like this is just very slightly off, actually. Sometimes this, they don't snap together in the same way you would necessarily want them to. Um, but for now, I'm going to just finish off the walls. I'm going to maybe see if I can make some kind of, like, throne room. Um, and to do that, I would probably... I don't know, I'd love to make a church. There's all sorts of cool things I want to do, but I, I think I should finish off what, I, uh, what I've started uh, before that. So probably, actually, one thing I want to do to start is to see if there's any money for me in the rental pots. Because this is how we're funding this castle building exercise. This one needs a clean. Now, apparently in the latest patch, they have made some of the uh, finding my, my Z skill a little bit more, um, a little bit more powerful, a little bit more sensitive, so that it'll find, maybe find things in the ceiling a bit easier and stuff like that. So, gosh, they made a mess of this place. Some money in here, and some uh, mess in here. <laughs> it's like, will it be mess? Will it be money? But yeah, I really like some of the furniture and stuff in this, um, and I like, I do enjoy the building, but I. Since when was that like a roof piece that I'd put in there? I wonder if that got messed up a bit with the. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what happened there, but oh well. That's fine. I love the fire pit. Oh, apparently it's still uncleaned. Right, okay. Where's the rubbish? Ah, I missed a stick over there, apparently. Now it is clean. Did I grab all of the revenue? So total zero. We want to see total zero on everything. And then we can get back to building. Oh, there's like 600 sat in there. more cleaning to do here. They literally came in here and threw rocks everywhere. Lovely. Love my tenants. Like, what did I do to deserve tenants like these? Honestly. I can see already that there's another one that needs cleaning. But, uh, okay, we've got a little bit more revenue now, which is fantastic. So we can put some walls in here. So what did I do with all the other ones? Did I put windows in or not? Because I've got a few of these towers. Oh, we just went with the whole window in the upper stories. Well, that makes all the sense in the world. Because what you don't want is people coming in and storming your castle, climbing through the, the lower story windows. That's really not what you want. Let's do that. I'll run over to all the other towers and fill them in. And then we'll do all the pretty stuff like the windows and, and all that. And then I'm going to try and find somewhere to make my throne. Because I still haven't put my throne down. But I don't know where I want to put my throne. I, I feel like I need to make like a tower. Let's just do this. Let's just make the throne room. I feel like I need a tower, like, in the middle here. Somewhere that will just be my throne room building. And I feel like it does need to be, like, a castle. Like, I was considering maybe making it not castle, but no. It's going to be castle. So... What I want is to line it up with something. I 
kind of thinking here. Here. Yeah. Here. Yeah. Uh, so I'm going to make it like six wide. If I can, if I don't get in my own way, that's what's happening there. Can I put, I can put, I can actually go up a level. So yeah, actually I could probably put like stairs or something, hang on, let's see what I can do. Can I do my whole like stairs up to my throne room maybe, at least? Because that's what I was trying to do up here. I don't know, we'll have to see. If I can get these stairs in anywhere. Maybe, oh yeah, they have to be on foundation, don't they? That's what it is. Okay. So, let's try some foundations. I do want something at the, that acts as a throne room, definitely. Even if it's not that good. <laughs> foundation's gone. Oh yeah, it was wall foundations. Now, is it the thick ones I'm gonna want? I think it probably is. Oh, and these all just snap together nicely. Maybe they've improved the snapping on these, I don't know, but I can kind of make myself a little bit of a patio going on here now. Which is quite nice. But then I can't, um, oh my goodness, I spent all my money? Really? Well, let's see if I can put my throne down yet, because... Where was my throne? My throne was in my inventory somewhere. I had a throne to put down, I know I did. Face the throne and interact. Fulfill royal duties. Bedroom, kitchen, chairs, throne in here. Um, because I'm sure I did have a throne on my hotbar at one point. Please tell me I've still got a throne. Well, I did try and place it. So they gave me a throne and I tried to place it. I'll be upset if I don't have one anymore. Other? Throne. So I have a lack of coins right now, but I might be able to do it. If I Let's see if I can get 700 coins. And, oh, I can't go that way anymore. Oops. If I can uh, put my throne down. I kind of want this to be a grand throne room, but I am really, really running out of money. So honestly, it would be lovely to have like an extra quest or two. I think they might be um, considering adding some more, but at the moment, the only income I have is from rental properties. So it slows me down quite a bit. Gonna be honest. The other thing that I can do if the only thing I'm using is money is obviously I'm all the time I'm picking up wood and um, you know a little bit of money actually as well, but wood and stone and everything, and I can go to the exchange and change those over. Um, oh no, apparently that's not clean yet. Bucket in the ceiling, ceiling bucket. Ceiling bucket apparently was not all that we had in here, though. There was also a ceiling... the piece of wood. Okay. There was rent there, which is nice. As I say, I will change my wood out for 
some money and some of my stone as well because at the moment I'm not building any more um, houses. I'm at the end of that and I'm mostly just using money for buying furniture and buying castle pieces. So having all of these materials actually doesn't do me any good anymore. And I think five rental properties is uh, plenty to be looking after. I'm hoping to get the, the castle done, even if this is a slightly longer episode than normal, I'm hoping to get it done this episode if I can. And to play around with the throne if I can. Because I feel like then, uh, once we've explored that, there's really not much more to do. I missed a whole big ass barrel there, oh my goodness. That's all cleaned. But yeah, you kind of get double paid because you get paid for doing the cleaning and you get also paid for um, the materials that you pick up while you're cleaning. So you can kind of like go and pick up their trash and sell it for scrap effectively. I apparently have not cleaned this one properly. Ceiling bucket, ceiling rocks, still not done, okay. Clock on the bed, now it's done, okay. And it has some rent, okay let's go to the exchange. And see about making some money from all the stuff, all the uh, materials we've been picking up. So I can sell stone, and I wish to receive money for it. And I wish to sell about half of my stone. And I also wish to sell about half of my wood in return for gold. So that made me a couple of thousand as well. As I say, I'm just slowly accruing like useless materials over time, and I, I want to keep them just in case they do become useful for furniture or something like that. I probably don't need to keep as much as I've got. So I'm just going to have a quick look at the um, foundations. No, I'm not going to look at the foundations anymore, actually. No, it's fine. I could make this into a little workshop or something, couldn't I? It would be really cute. Uh, okay, so stairs and, and thrones and all sorts. So let's see if I can put my stairs up. Yeah. Can. Let's put double stairs there. Oh, that's looking pretty. I like that. That that really connects together a lot better as well. A little patio there. I could probably put something down there. And this is going to be like a, a kind of tower. So you probably want at least two or three levels to it. No, we'll just do two levels. Find the, the the next level of these uh, things to go on top. They ain't cheap, are they? So let's get um, also some flooring. Unfortunately, you can't just have plain flooring without the. And I would like that plain flooring without the uh, hatchways in. But never mind. Then we kind of want roofing as well, don't we? Oh, hang on, I haven't even done the ones at the back here. Yes. Okay, and then we're going to want some roofing. So for the roof, um, I think we're going to want that kind of roof. But also, I kind of think that we will probably will then want, like, that above as well. Oh, yeah, we can do that. Okay, I was just not quite getting it right. So we'll go up there in a minute. I'll stick a ladder up there somewhere. And we'll go up there and fix the roof in properly. Um, so now I just need walls. 
Yep, we've run out of money again. But I think my throne room's gonna look cool. I don't know whether I'm gonna like how I'm gonna do all of this, but we'll we'll get it to work. So I'm kind of thinking that my throne should go about here. Oh, I need 700 for a throne, don't I? So I best go and collect my, my ill-gotten gains uh, from the rentals. Then we'll add some more walls in, and then we'll maybe have a look at furniture. I may not do furniture. We'll have to see, like, how much money I've got. I'll collect the rentals, and then I'm going to take a little sleep as well. It's an ambitious project, this one. But I think it's a really nice looking castle and I'm just like super stoked to be able to do this on the channel. As I say, I'm sorry about the uh, the lack of uh, the, this final episode until now, but uh, I have been so busy with all of those demos and they are so, they're so good because it teaches me so much about what you guys like to watch on the channel. I want to try and bring you content that you enjoy, so it's really, really helpful from that regard. That's cleaned rent there and it's also clean and it's also clean lovely go and steal your bed clear clear weather is always good so we should be now sort of coming into the morning time and I won't have to worry about night which is always nice and I now have a good couple of thousand in the bank to play around with which is Okay, but the walls cost quite a lot. <laughs> Get about 10 walls out of that. Okay, I'm going to put the throne down and interact with it because if I do nothing else this episode, I want to show you what the what the throne is like. So that is under miscellaneous and it is under, I forget what it was under. Other, miscellaneous, other. There, there's my throne. Let's interact with it and become a king. So... We need to earn 50,000 flippers, rent 10 houses, complete all the quests, build a castle of a minimum of 50 parts. Man. Now I've got to make five more little tiny houses. Where am I going to put those? Inside the castle. <laughs> we'll have some little servants' quarters or something in here, maybe. Okay, we can we can rent out ten, uh, five more houses, but they just they are going to be the smallest houses you have ever seen, and I'm going to put them over here. They are going to be the smallest, rubbishest houses you have ever seen in your life. I'm going to be three by threes as well. Fifty thousand shouldn't be too hard to get. Um, might have to record that later. I don't know how long it's going to take to get this place, uh, get this episode out, actually. Ah, buildings, houses, that's what we want. Okay, so each one of these is going to be a 3x3. Three three. Really simple. Okay, and we'll have another one just here. Next to it, so that's three. Built five over there. Are there any more space? There really isn't, I don't think. Okay, I'll get on, I'll build these three then. <sighs> I'm all set up for them in not making houses. Is 
games, they are so out of line with each other, it's not even funny, but I don't know if I really care. I don't know, is that going to, like, super bug me later on? Probably. But, like, it really annoys me that you can't split. And there is no grid to help you line things up or anything like that. You can't really zoom out and see. It's really, it's really, really tough. Really difficult. Ah, oh, it's gonna annoy me. It's just too much, isn't it? I know it will. Also, the one thing I want to do is just to see if I can fit more in. I'm just gonna get rid of all of this. It took me two seconds. It's fine. I'll, I'll, I'll work it out. Luckily, you get a lot of your materials back. But I want to see if a two, a two by three room would work as well. And we could have some tiny little places, tiny little two by threes. Apparently I have to clean the whole thing up before I can even look at it. But I want to see what the actual, um, how much bigger these houses are than what they've been required to be. Oh, come on. Well, I kind of just want to build the smallest houses I can. It will do the same job. Okay. You're cleaned, right. So, um, the house area could have been six on this one. So I absolutely can make them two by threes. That's what I'm going to do, and I'll just find the right tenant that will accept a two by three. I've got an idea as well. That maybe I can put road along there and put them along the road. Even if I remove the road later It'll give me a way to at least try to keep them in line with each other. And maybe it won't count as being adjoining if it's adjoining to a road. Which is definitely worth experimenting with because it's really super annoying when you make something. Yeah, like that, see? And I can just make these tiny little houses. And I just bump them up to the road. A little bit of space in between them. I can easily probably fit three or four in here. And then I think what we'll do is we'll just build another one, maybe a slightly bigger house even. Maybe a three by three or something, but it'll be here, right next to the to the entryway. Perfect, we've got some tiny little houses. And we're just gonna make all the floors out of wood, and then I'll go do all the walls, and then we'll have five houses. We'll have 10 houses to to check on, then I need to get 50,000 and then I can become a king. Apparently my 50 part castle is already <laughs> easily enough. <laughs> Which is quite funny. But yeah, those of you may be expecting part two of um, Story Academia. I tried to play more of that 
And uh, there was only four minutes left on the demo. So, yeah. That was slightly annoying. Let's just do this. That was not what I wanted to do. So I'll go through and do all the walls. And then I'll go through and do all the windows. Although apparently I need to knock some stuff down now because, grr. And there was one over here to knock down, wasn't there? See, these are plenty big enough. There's like plenty enough land and these are all plenty big enough. But if you, if you want to be more like fancy like me, you can be. But you do not at all need to be fancy. I'm going to do all the windows and then we'll do all the doors. This is the, the quick way to build houses. There's no doubt what they do on like housing estates and stuff. And they're like, yeah, you know what? I'm going to build them all that basically the same. Maybe one that's a little bit different. That can be like the show home. And we'll get all the doors on, all the roofs on. And then I'll go and build the 3x3. Uh, the three three. I mean, that may be a little tiny bit more interesting. So it's going to be very simple. These are basically sheds at this point. To build five of them in a very short space of time. Oh, come on. It was like that. It was the right way round and then it turned itself. It's super annoying. And I've run out of coins. Okay, so... Let's uh, head out. I didn't realise that, that roofs, oh, roofs cost money. Everything costs money to build. So is it furniture that takes, like, materials? Not really. Anything that takes materials to make anymore? Or do you just sell all of your... It seems like everything is money. I don't know if I'm being dumb here, but... Oh, I know. I know, of course. it's the, That's the building materials. So you don't want to go too... Yeah. So you build the frames with money. So I need to go and do some cleaning again. Honestly, having these ceiling parties all the time, I don't know. Right, that one was kept clean, which is nice. This one needs a little... People have been telling me I probably need to get better tenants. Ones that are cleaner. And you're probably right. When I have like 10 faces to clean up. I don't know where any of the rubbish is because it's all in the ceiling. I'm going to be uh, tearing my hair out probably, but I'm going to make them really simple. Right, so we've got full rent there, but we do also need to clean. And then I can obviously go and sell materials. Well, like I say, I would probably much prefer to get better tenants. Gosh, it's getting loud, this music. Um, to have better quality tenants in bigger houses. Rather than having to build all these tiny-ass houses. But never mind, I guess. Anyway, so let's go and sort the roof out on this one. Boom. And then build myself some more roofing. Oh, roofing? Roofing? Is that even a word? Well, 
Well, I'll definitely have the enough for the castle of my dreams pretty soon. Right, let's just build these and get them let out. So again, we're just gonna go for like plaster all the way. These are simple, simple dwellings, so they can be simple plaster. I think it somehow suits them better. And then I'll go put the doors and windows on. Get the furnishing sorted. So we've got like the, 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 the cheap side of town and the expensive side of town. I'll probably have to go collect rents in a minute and then also I will, at that point, I will also um, do a clean up and a rent collection and uh, change it to daytime because daytime is so much easier for building, I'll tell you that right now. I don't know if you can use the beds in like the levels, um, but if you can, it might be a thing to like consider. And I think I want a fairly kind of rustic door. I think we want to go for, oh, I'll stick the rent signs on too. Okay, and let's get some doors on. Um, put a simple door, that would probably be all right. Yeah, it's fairly simple. Yeah, that'll do. Not anything too, too fancy, but we do want it to be reasonably nice as well. Um, shutters. Well, these would probably fit with the the whole theme. I'm gonna do everything all at once on these four and then I will build an individual one. So what I'm hoping then is to see completed houses. I wanna look on the rent signs. Okay, and that's how to build four houses basically at once, yay. So, Six out of six. So this guy, it's all it's all fine, but I do need to find the right tenants that require the smaller housing. Um, that one actually does require a house that's 10, which is amazing, <laughs> but I don't have that. So bed, closet, table, basin. Let's do that then. So bed. That's a nice one. And I always put the mattress on as well. There was table, uh, closet and basin. Table. That one's quite nice. A little kind of dining room there. And then a closet and a basin over here. This one? Oh, I need to get it the right way around. That's quite cute. And then we just need a closet. Maybe a wee bookshelf over there would be quite nice. By the door, I quite like this place. Um, we can rent that straight out. For this guy. All right then, next one. We just need a bed and a closet for the, for that one. Oh, hang on. Um, six out of four, six out of four. Yeah, it's bed in a closet, and they're all totally happy then. Lovely. Just what I like. Hmm. That's some simple shelves. Uh, yeah, simple set of shelves there. And then we'll just stick on a bed. Lovely. And we'll rent it out. Hmm. 
Why does that one not think that there's beds in there? That's really weird. Okay. That one doesn't think the house costs enough. So a bed. Bed calls it table basin. Uh, okay. Um, bed. Closet. Oh, we're going to have to have a closet this time. We're going to have a, like an actual wardrobe, I think. Closet. Table, basin. Am I running out of money? I think I have. Okay. We definitely need to do rent collection and build the other ones actually quite cool because I've got like a proper little town going on here. It's really, really quite awesome. But yeah, that's definitely what you use the roads for. You absolutely need to use the roads for of course, stuff to clean up, uh, for lining things up. That definitely seems to be a really good use for them. pay on that one which is really nice did I already pick this one up yes okay so do a super quick clean and then we'll grab all of the money and we move on and we'll finish we'll finish those five houses rent in it very nice I have to do a double check that I've actually got all of the rents um, of course the bottle above the fireplace uh, what else am I missing Something apparently. Oh dear, I can't find what it is. Hmm. That's never good. Ah, got it. let me in because it cures I want to sleep until it is light light in the sky and I want to check all the monies and see how much monies I have there'll be monies over the other side no doubt as well and probably things to clean really what have I missed here As always, the missing plank. I totally messed this one up. But in a way, like the cleaning up gets you materials. So that's kind of fine. Right, okay, let's go. Finish building my rental properties so I can become king. Although 50,000 is going to probably take me a while. So, whether we shall become king, I'm not sure. So we've managed to rent out 
most of them, no, two of them. They're going to be so much easier to clean these ones. Alright, so we need to see who wants to rent this one. Why do you not count? Like, does the bed have to be a certain... A certain requirement. I'm going to try and put in a different kind of closet, like maybe a, a better closet or something. Because that was a quite cheap one. Well, it wasn't that cheap either. Oh yeah, it was. Okay. Let's put this closet in. This bookshelf. And see if I can rent it to the closet lady. Yeah. It just wasn't, like... It was just too, uh... But if I put a table and a basin in, I can get this guy. Hmm. Let's do that, I think. nice basin in. Put a nice table in and then they'll be like super happy. There, wonderful. So let's see if we can rent it to this, this guy for a bit more. Yeah. So who have we got here then? Bed closet wash tub. Basin. Bed closet shelving wash tub. And two shelvings. Okay. So, beds. Give you a fancy bed. Closet. Wash tub will probably go there. A couple of shelvings down here. Mm. They wanted two shelvings. This is quite a cluttered house, actually. Oops. Oh well. Might actually put that around the other way. Oh no, that one wanted... Oh, okay, I need to put a basin in instead of the wash tub. Let's sell the wash tub then. Or destroy the wash tub. Put in a basin instead. That will have to do. Beautiful, let's see if we can rent that out. Oh, we need a wash tub and a basin. Oh, okay. Um, oops. Wash tub, basin, closet. Oh, you don't need the shelving. Okay, so we could um, take out a shelving and put the basin in its place. Ah. Get the wash tub back in. Oopsie daisy. That looks kind of cute. Okay, you like payment 105? Okay, rented to you. Lovely. Right, so. Got rents and cleanings to do. Cleanings are so fast on these. It's amazing. We can build this one. So, obviously, we're going to have a doorway. I might need to do... I'm sorry about this. I might need to do a whole other episode other than this. I know I said this would probably be the last one, but I think we need two more. I think we need this one, and then I think we need one to get the money together and everything. So, I mean, I would like to, to be complete on it, you know? So, 
for this one I think we'll do windows in the middle and our walls around the outside and then I think I'm going to need another episode basically to finish off the castle I love my little town though I think it's a really nice cute town in so one there one there and I think we're good like I say the only reason I don't really finish the insides is because of the the ceiling detritus that, that seems to form if it if things weren't forming up in the ceiling if they were only forming on the ground uh, floor layers then I would be quite happy to sort of neaten it off a lot more but alas no and I think this one will also be made of plaster. But I think we'll furnish this and also um, try our best to make some more money next time. So yeah, there we are. We've, we've finished that one off. That one looks really cool and it's like it's sort of the the master to all of the other houses, although I might change those two to windows, possibly. I don't know, it kind of looks cool. I'll, I'll choose, I'll decide about that next episode. I think, I think we are done for this episode. I've got this really cool town. Um, I might also just quickly, I don't know if I'll be able to get this to work, but run a road, like past, run a pathway. Oh, you can put them on top. That's really, really, really nice. Just running past this person's house. It doesn't quite overlap into there, but it, it does an okay job. shame you can't get like um more partial roads but anyway yeah we've got at least a road going past there and then we've got like a garden i'd be able to sort of put things in there and I mean, there's all sorts of things i could i could do you know I could sort of make a little community garden so each side has its own little garden and then in here this is my castle it's not quite built yet and then out of here up to here to my throne again i would i would so love a grid to try and like keep things a little bit more like centered and to try and work on things and snap snap to grid all that sort of thing it might be a lot nicer to line things up so we have one more house to rent and then i need to earn fifty thousand flippers which i might uh i might maybe go away and do that and then we we're also gonna finish off the castle so Finishing off the castle is going to cost money and also earning 50,000 flippers is also going to earn money So I think uh, cost money. So I think what I might do is spend some time off camera Just earning myself stupendous amounts of money before I come back to you guys and we do some more stuff So I'll go around I'll clean I'll do the, the whole cycle for a little bit off camera come back with enough money to to do everything I want to do hopefully uh, we might still have some rent collection to do finish off this place uh, finish off the castle and then we'll be done. So I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did then please do leave me a like below If you'd like to see more castle flipper then please subscribe. I'll let you know when the videos are out I hope to see you next time in the meantime. Please look after yourselves and keep being awesome